Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm back with another one of the amazing US universities, Georgetown University. Before I begin this video, here's a quick update. Many of you have asked me about my program, IB Cohort, where every summer I help small group of college applicants through my program called IB Cohort. It's an eight week high power live sessions with me to help you build your applications from scratch. My aim is to help you build winning applications to six different colleges. I truly believe in this program and because it's a very small cohort, seats are extremely limited. So if you're interested, make sure to click on the link in the description box to get more details and enroll before it gets sold. I will see you live inside the program if you wish to join the program of successful applicants. For this video, I will give you an in-depth view of the university and will decode the academic, social and financial aspects of the university with my star ratings. And then I will offer you the most important tips and strategies to get into this university. Make sure to listen closely as I'll be sharing most amazing strategies to get into Georgetown University. Let's hit it up for Georgetown University. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Well, Georgetown University is a federally chartered research university. It's a private university and is the place for anyone who wants to be master of political universe. Georgetown is the oldest and most selective Roman Catholic schools of the country. It was established in 1789, so above 200 years old by Bishop John Carroll, who was the first bishop in the United States. The university now comprises over 10 colleges catering to all fields, be it medicine, business, law, or foreign services. Georgetown is located in Washington, D.C. and is the middle of the city. Washington, as we all know, is the capital city of the United States. It's filled with the rich history of the country and is a place you will never be bored at. Washington offers unsurpassed cultural resources, ranging from the museums of the Smithsonian to Kennedy Center. Being in the middle of the capital, Georgetown gives you unparalleled access to the city and city's resources. The Georgetown campus is 104 acres in size, located just blocks from the Potomac River. The buildings are very Romanesque style and occupy a tree-lined neighborhood that is home to many of the nation's most powerful people. The most popular majors at Georgetown include international affairs, government, international politics, finance, nursing, diplomatic history, international economics, and theology. Although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the ranking, Georgetown is also one of the top 10% universities in the world according to US News, QS News, and all other major ranking services. All right. Now let's move on to our next section, talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. Academics are rigorous and courses are challenging. Most of the courses here follow liberal art curriculum. So all students have to complete general requirements in humanities, philosophy, theology, engaging diversity and writing. Other general requirements that are specific to each school. University also provides an opportunity to attend optional seminar for focus on educating mind, body, and soul. The undergraduates can apply to one of the four undergraduate colleges, Georgetown College for Liberal Arts, the School of Nursing and Health Studies, School of Business, and Walsh School of Foreign Services. Well, being in DC, every college experiences some gain of the political climate around. Naturally, programs like international affairs, diplomatic history, international economics, and regional and comparative studies are among the hottest programs here. At Georgetown, law is another program that invites most of the graduates. But curiously enough, they don't have an undergraduate program in public policy. University's pre-med program is also among the most sought after programs. Nursing and health studies also make for some popular choices. On top of it, if you wish to study languages, you can look for their linguistic department. So if you look at it, there is nothing they are not providing you. The Office of Global Education offers more than 190 programs in 55 countries. The libraries are equipped with about 3.1 million books. And as research plays a big part in the university curriculum, last year their R&D budget was around $212 million, which is huge. The professors here are outstanding and the teaching is first rate. Georgetown likes to boast about its faculty, as it should. TAs are involved in taking charge of group discussions and recitations. Most of the classes here are average to medium size. 62% of classes have fewer than 20 students. So keeping all this thing in mind, I would like to rate Georgetown with five stars on academic difficulty and quality level. Five is the highest level. Well, after academic fit, let's move on to social fit. Social life is a major part on campus. And although Georgetown is a Catholic university, the religious atmosphere is by no means heavy handed. And the student body tends to be liberal with their choices. Being a hub of opportunities, DC can offer a lot for you to do. 
starting with internships. Every student is always involved in either internships downtown or are committed to some kind of community work. If you're lucky enough, you can also secure an internship in the political campaigns as an intern too. Yes, that's very much possible. Georgetown has about 14,000 students with about 7,000 as UG and the rest are PG. 85% are out of state and 17% student body, they are international. Housing is extremely nice. 78% of undergraduates live on campus. There are 17 residential sections out of which four are freshman halls. All dorms are co-ed and some have activities and community than others. All have great amenities like internet and landscaping. Very rare graduate students live, live on campus. Two dining halls serve steadily improving food at an expensive fare. But not to worry, there are about 2,000 restaurants in DC and all ranges and ages. The university is seriously implementing the 21-year-old drinking age policy. Georgetown has about 350 clubs and organizations on campus that students can join. Sports are huge here, especially basketball. You can hear everyone chanting Hoya Saka, Hoya Saka, which is a Latin Greek phrase for what rocks. Other Division I sports include cross-country, soccer and golf. Georgetown offers a competitive academics and good social life as well. I would like to give it 4 stars out of 5 on quality of life at Georgetown. Well, now let's look at the financial fit. Now, Georgetown falls in an expensive school category. You can expect anything about $55,000 to $60,000 in annual tuition expenses. Housing and dining is about $18,000 to $20,000. As far as financial aid is concerned, Georgetown offers no academic merit scholarships, but does offer need-based support to undergraduate students. It also offers more than 120 athletic scholarships. The Georgetown Scholarship Program offers financial and academic support to eligible low-income students. Georgetown offers scholarships to graduates, students, and it depends on the individual department. Overall, I would like to give it 3 stars out of 5 on financial fit. Well, after exploring the fit, let's move to the most curious section on how to triple your chances of getting admission into Georgetown University with my special admission tips and strategies. The areas I'm going to share now comes from a decade-long experience working with students for career and college admission. Georgetown is a selective university. The acceptance rate last year was about 17% overall, and most state ranges from 15 to 20%, with 95% graduation rate. Georgetown's admission process is need-blind, and they're committed 100% on creating a most diverse community. Your background and social status does not matter as long as you bring value through your activities. Skills like critical thinking, decision-making, innovation, and engaging new ideas and possibilities are important. Community, as we spoke earlier, plays an important role, so forging connections through reaching out to alumni during your application preparation will come in handy as well. Genuine interest in the political atmosphere and, of course, research is something you should demonstrate through your application material. Georgetown always suggests making your application highly personalized. Your essays and supplementary material, including recommendation letters, should speak about your personality and interest. They try to interview every candidate seeking contribution from alumni, so be prepared with that too. Make sure all your documents and test scores are prepared well in advance and well put together during the submission. Try to submit everything together so that the application officers can work on your application without having to wait for your reports to reach later. For undergraduates, students can apply to early action in November and regular decision in January. As far as PhDs and postgraduates are concerned, applications are accepted individually department-wise. Most of the courses have false start only with very few postgraduate summer and spring options available. Deadlines for PG is between September to March every year. In the end, to conclude, if you are looking for a great place, politically active, research-oriented, with lots of academic and internship opportunities, Georgetown is for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video. And also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. If you want to get admission to Georgetown University or any other top universities, I would highly recommend you to check out this course on college admission. I have created this course with 11 years of my expertise and helped thousands of students to get admitted to top colleges such as Harvard, MIT, Stanford, Oxford, Cambridge, and other top colleges around the world. This course packs the most advanced college admission strategies for university shortlisting, profile building, essay writing, college interviews, and everything else that will make sure you get into the school of your choice. It's a short ticket for your dream college admission. Well, thank you once again, and I'll be back with another amazing video for you. Till then, this is Sharice signing off. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.